Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another interesting video on Little Slaw YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to fix our issue, the GitHub issue, the Git warning, where in the working copy of this particular directory we have a .sh file and this will be replaced by CRLF the next time Git touches it. So this is one of the errors you might get when you are trying to uh, do an add or when you are trying to commit your files into the GitHub. So today in this video, we will see how to fix this issue real quick. So for that, I'm going to create a new repo. So here I've got a new repository, which I'm going to make it as jmeter underscore crlf underscore fix. So this is our uh, repository name, which I'm going to create, and this is going to be public repo. And I'm going to add a readme file, and then I'm going to create the repository. So once we create the repository we'll try to clone this repository and for that I'm going to use the Visual Studio code and let me close this folder and the next part is I'm going to clone the repo and let me paste the URL here and we have got the clone from URL and then I'm going to create a new folder inside my version folder which is going to be test and then I'm going to select this as the repository location so now we have got the test folder and the next part which i'm going to do now is i'm going to so we here you can see i have the apache jmeter 5.6.3 so yeah here i have the file and let me open this file here so these are the files which i have for the apache jmeter 5.6.3 so let me just copy all these files so these are the files which I have, let me just uncheck that, yeah. So these are the files which are going to paste it in the test folder inside this one here. So now we have added all these folders and so let's come back to the Visual Studio here. So now we can see all the files that are added inside the jmeter underscore crlf fix. So let me go to the source control. And here you can see all the files so let me open the terminal so this terminal will be very easy for us to fix or to crack these things so let me try to do a git status so this will show us what are the files that has to be added so here you can see we have to add all these files so instead of adding one by one i'm going to do a git add space dot and before that let's create a branch so i'm going to create a branch which is git checkout minus b the branch name is going to be develop so now we have got the develop branch and here you can see I have checked out the develop branch and now I'm going to add all these files. So for that I'm going to do a git add dot and when I do a git add dot here you can see I have got a warning message which, tell, which tells me that in the working copy inside the bin directory I've got all these dot sh files and this LF will be replaced by CRLF the next time Git touches it. So what does this mean? Actually, this warning is essentially saying that the file has LF line endings in the repository. But when Git touches it next, for example, when you check out a branch or pull change, it will be replaced them with CRLF line endings to match the system configuration. So this is a common warning, especially in Mixer platform development environments, because if the shell, if the file is a shell script, it might be better to keep Unix style line endings LF even on a Windows system. So to avoid this warning, we can configure Git to not perform automatic line ending conversions for this specific files. And for this, we have to add a Git attribute file. So let's do it. And for that, I'm going to go to this file section and let me add a file, which is going to be dot git attributes. Got it right. So now we have got the dot git attributes and before that let me just copy one of this line so that i can paste it in the thumbnail for anyone who easily understands it so let me just copy it again copy yep i got this so now we have the git attributes file so let's add all these files in here so i've got all these files and here is the command that we have to add so the file names at the end it has to be minus text or hyphen text and then let's first add this 
file alone so it has to be git add, git add dot git sorry uh, dot git attributes and then I click on enter so now this file is being added and let's now add all the other files with a git add space dot so this has added again all the files and let's go on git status and see so every file is turned into green so which means we are ready to commit so let's go back to the source control here so we can either do a commit here or we can either do a commit here in this space so let's do a commit here so then commit minus m under double quotes it's going to be first commit and yes we were now able to successfully commit our changes and the first test is going to be first commit and we are going to publish the branch so now let's wait until the branch gets successfully completed because most of the times what happens is people follow until these steps and after this point of time they get some errors so let's try to see whether we are getting any errors or whether this branch publishing gets successfully completed so let's wait for a few more seconds to see because these are like just few files which we will upload it into the repository and then we will move on to the next steps so now the publish has been completed successfully and now we have got the create pull request so let's go back to the github and now we can see here compare and pull request and first commit yes we can do a create we can create a pull request and it's checking for ability to merge and yes you can merge the pull request confirm merge and now you can see all these files that has been uploaded successfully to the github so i think this video will be very useful to you so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye from ascension and little slow